for all things Halloween, this is Hauntformer and welcome to a spooky unboxing slash review of a Distortions Unlimited creature and creation. This is a new product, not on the market, but new to me. This is my unboxing of this for the first time. I've never seen this thing in person before, and I'm really excited to. This is Maniac, a character that I don't know a lot about. So Ed or someone from Distortions, if you could help me figure out a little bit more about this guy, I would really appreciate it. I don't know who sculpted this. I don't know what year it came out in. All I know is that it looks super creepy from the photos. It reminds me a lot of my good friend Spasm, a prop from Morbid Industries. So I'm going to take him out of the box and we will get a better look at the maniac so uh let's cut to the chase moment of truth time folks time to unbox the maniac from distortions unlimited I'm waiting for this guy for a little while now. I have high hopes. Like always. I'm always excited to see what the folks at Distortions have to offer. Alright, as you can see he's in a little baggie. Keep them nice and safe. Oh yeah. You guys see that? I'll fully pull them out so you can get a better look at them, but wow. Here is Maniac. Man. All right, let's get a better look. And so here we have Maniac from Distortions Unlimited. First impressions, very impressed with this decoration. As always from Distortions, they always are the top of the line and in my opinion, perhaps the greatest uh, Halloween prop company out there. As you can see, there's so much detail going on in this guy. Everything from the jeans to his shoes, even underneath his shoes there's detailing. Uh, his hands gripping his head and his shirt, all of the tears and the pulls in his outfit. And of course, that creepy face with the bloodshot eyes and the teeth digging into his arm with blood seeping out. He is just really cool and really big, honestly. Bigger than I expected. Uh, for a little size comparison here, I'm going to drag over Spasm because I feel like more people have seen him as a point of reference. And you can see just how tiny Spasm is compared to Maniac here. And in terms of being like an asylum inmate-ish, I guess, decoration, you can see the comparisons that I make between the two. But what I love about this guy is there's so much versatility. He could be an asylum inmate. He could be a scared patron in your haunted house. He could be a man transforming into a werewolf. There's so many possibilities, and I love that about this guy. He could be a cannibal. Like, there's so many great options. I really do dig this character. Now, Maniac here, he has a flat bottom, as you can see, so you can put him anywhere you want. And he has a flat back, which is nice because you can put stuff in here if you want. So say you want a speaker, maybe you want him to make noise or something like that, or even if you wanted to put a vibrating motor in the back to have him shake, which would actually be a good idea for me, uh, you can do that. He also has, you know, real hair. It's not sculpted on, it's real hair. I would love to know who sculpted this, so if anyone can answer that in the comments, I would appreciate it. Maniac here looks really good. Sculpt is fantastic. Paint is beautiful. Uh, really creepy character. I think he's probably one of my favorite pieces that I own from my collection of Distortions props, and I'm sure I'll continue to because they always deliver really great quality item uh very creepy too and the detail on him alone is a must he retails for 
about $200 give or take. I say if you can get them for right around that, you're getting a pretty good deal for yourself. Maniac here is quite the character and a great prop for your haunted house and for Halloween decorating in general. Thank you all for watching this unboxing and review of Maniac. Make sure to subscribe for all things Halloween, and I will see you in the next video. <laughs>